Okay, you might be able to draw like a cookie cutter face, right? But even a beginner can tell that there's a world of difference between some beginner level mouth like this and a professionally drawn mouth like that, for example. And if you're still at the very beginning, don't worry, don't fret, because I'm going to start at the very beginning so that even amateurs can get along and draw along with this tutorial. And at the end, we'll be able to draw a mouth just like that. No joke. This is so underrated. Just drawing a good looking mouth can carry so much emotion and improve your drawing by a landslide. So this is an absolute must have. All right then, ready? Because my name's Marcel. Still. And today I'll be teaching you guys how to draw a mouth from the very beginning. Like a sir. All right then, since uh, you're an artist, artist, you might already know this, but breaking things down into their most basic components is key to drawing basically everything. That's at least the way that I like to approach things in my tutorials, that way you guys understand all of this a lot better. So we're splitting this video into two parts. Uh, for the first part, I think we need to learn how to draw a good looking moth in the first place that doesn't look like someone erased over it by accident. And I think the first part will already improve a lot of your guys' drawings. I honestly think that this is the part where most of your problems actually are. And after that, we can tackle different perspectives for the second part. This is where it gets kind of tricky, so you absolutely should be able to draw a good looking mouth in the first place before you head to this part. Also, there's going to be a little extra at the end. You know what it is if you're familiar with my tutorials, but you'll see about that once we get to the end of the video. All right, then let's get going already. Let's start with some baby steps. The first mistake or misconception with a lot of beginner artists is that there are mouths that you could draw with lips and ones that you could draw without lips. And that's obviously wrong, I think you can tell that everyone has lips. In order to get to our gold standard of drawing schmexy mouths, you need to understand that a mouth, or better yet, lips in concept, always look like this. Let's make this even simpler now with some very basic shapes, like the most basic shapes to make this as simple to understand as possible. You have the big chunky part at the bottom, that's the easy one to draw, and you have the upper edgy part with this kind of cupid's bow shape. I'm not making this up, that's the actual name for it. So what you need to keep in mind is that the bottom part is usually the bigger part and the upper part looks like it has been stabbed or something. But now, let's apply this knowledge. For this drawing, we're drawing the most simplest of mouths, a white one. This is how you would usually draw a pasty white ass mouth. Now, let's apply what we've learned so far. Let's imagine some lips around that. You don't have to draw them in, just hinting at them helps a ton already. Okay then, just like with the lower lip, hinting at the upper lip is more than enough. Your lips usually have this cupid bow shape, keep that in mind. You don't have to overdo it, just again, hinting at it goes a really long way already. Just make sure you're hinting at them very lightly, and I mean very lightly, because you don't want it to look like a certain kind of mustache, you know? Especially if you're drawing a girl. All right, I think you can tell the difference from before already, right? Like I said, all of this lightly hinting at stuff really does go a long way. Okay, let's get into opening a mouth. Yeah, I think some people kind of struggle with that as well. <laughs> okay, let's do this from the very start again. Just keep in mind what we've discussed before. You have your starting points, left and right. And again, uh, the upper part has this kind of uh, bow shape. And the lower part is just one big curve. Now, you have to admit that's a way better mouth shape than the one before, right? Now, there's really only one thing that you need to add here, and that's obviously the teeth. Best thing you could do is to envision them as like two big dental splines. This does require a bit of 3D thinking, but once you get this down, your mouths look a hell of a lot better. Just trust me on this. Now again, you could also hint at the lips a bit more if you want. I like to do that with my drawings because it just makes it feel a bit less empty. And if you wanna, you can get really crazy with the details here. The more detailed you get here, the better this looks already. But I guess this doesn't really fit into every art style, so you can just stick with hinting at all of these details like we did before. 
All right, that was a very, very basic way to draw a mouth right now. Let's get a bit more tricky because the second part is up next, but just... Uh... Okay, b before we before we continue, would you mind liking this video first? I'm editing all of this by myself. This actually takes me weeks for all of it to get done. All the while I'm working on my anatomy book on all of this as well. So all of this is an insane amount of work and you'd really do me a favor if you would like and comment on this video. Also, please subscribe while you're down there already. Mwah! Thank yous. Okay, you now have all the knowledge that you would need to draw something like this. So let's try drawing a mouth in perspective from scratch. We'll start a bit easier with a closed mouth for starters, just so that you can get the gist of it. So here's a blank face that I just quickly scribbled out. And the key here is to not just draw some 2D looking flat mouth onto this, because the way to make this work is to see all of this as a 3D figure, just like in real life. Here would be a comically easy mouth, just to show you how it wraps around the face. And just like we did before, we now just have to apply the rules from before to it. And in case you forgot what we've learned before, there's a quick overview on the top right corner just for you to use as a reference. Now, let's draw the first part of this Cupid spell. And since this is in perspective now, the second part of the mouth is all wrinkly looking. Now, stay, stay, stay with me here. I know that you might have a hard time imagining this in 3D. So here's an actual 3D model for you just so that you could see how all of this would look in real life. Now, that's the mouth from the front again, with your Cupid's bow and everything else. Okay, got it. And now that's it from an angle again. See, from this perspective, it would look also kind of wrinkled up, just like in real life. Now, if you want to hint at the lips again, like we did before, you also have to consider that they stop at the point where they wrap around your face. You know, just draw them like I'm doing here. Now that's that for the lower lip, but there is also a neat little trick for the upper lip. You can use this little upswing to locate your nose. So if you still have trouble with drawing faces in perspective or drawing proportions or locating the nose exactly, that's a neat little way to locate the nose pretty much perfectly. And that's it for drawing mouths in perspective. And obviously this also works for drawing open mouths as well. So this upper part actually stays the same, but again, you also have to envision with an open mouth that the lower lip is also being curved. So I think you realize just how much 3D thinking goes into this. So if you're having trouble with all of it, just drawing all of this in a bit of a bigger fashion because that makes things kind of easier to navigate. Again, the last component that you would need here would be teeth. And it's totally up to you if there are one or two rows of teeth visible. So it's totally up to you if you want to draw just the lower one or if you want to add the upper row of teeth as well. And the rest from here on out is, well, just practice. Draw mouths like your life depends on it if you want to get better. Try drawing mouths in different perspectives. It actually always works the exact same way that we did just now. The only thing that you would have to keep in mind would be this kind of curve that I always showed you before, just to keep in mind which way the mouth would bend. That's the key to making a mouth look 3D. And if you have trouble remembering all of this and you don't have the patience to wait until I'm done with my book, I totally get that. All of this information today was like... A lot. So I did make you guys a cheat sheet for your convenience that you can screenshot for the low, low price of leaving a comment in exchange. Leave a comment if you're more into drawing anime or manga yourself or if you're more into drawing cartoony stuff or into realism. That way I could also get to know you guys and your tastes a bit better. And if you've watched this tutorial and you're now like... Yeah! How much of this stuff do you have? Well, a lot. I have tutorials on basically everything, from drawing bodies to coloring to literally how to draw everything. So you can just check these out if you want. And my playlist with all of my tutorials is on screen right now. Thanks for watching. See you guys in my next tutorial.